Aaron Jones, according to NFL media, one year, $7 million deal to join the Vikings one day after he was released by the Green Bay Packers. Falcons stabilized their franchise, and the Vikings right now, the only quarterbacks under contract are Nick Mullins and Jaron Hall. Formerly of the Jets, the Panthers, the Niners, now on a $10 million deal, Sam Darnold is the quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. And I look at what's going on in Minnesota right now. Mm -hmm. You look at what the Vikings have. Talk about it. Are you kidding me? You've got... T.J. Hawkinson, he, he was almost a thousand-yard receiver last year. Got Jordan Addison and Justin Jefferson. All, all they're waiting for is some magic arm to come in there and just deliver this ball. You know, you guys, I'm just going to jump straight into the Minnesota Vikings at this point because this team, man, has already made a ton of moves to make this team better than they were just last season. I mean, whether you want to talk about the offense and adding some more firepower there, or you want to talk about the defense adding some firepower on the defensive line and in the linebacker room, this team, like I just said, looks better than they did last year already. And what's crazy about all of this is I don't think they're quite quite done yet. And on top of that, we've also seen them making some pretty promising moves heading into the draft that gives me hope that they're about to do something crazy. But before we get into why I believe that, if you like Minnesota Vikings content just like this, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any Vikings videos for the remainder of this offseason. Okay, so to get back on topic with the Minnesota Vikings, as we all know, this is a team that's coming off a season where they didn't make the playoffs, but to be completely honest with you, I was extremely impressed with what they were able to do considering all of the big-time injuries they had. I mean, Justin Jefferson was hurt for the majority of the year, and Kirk Cousins, their starting quarterback, got hurt for the entire year, and on top of that, we also saw TJ Hawkinson go down with an injury, but they still managed to almost find themselves in the playoffs, and I think that says a lot about how talented this team really really is and how well coached they are. Kevin O'Connell, in my opinion, has proved himself to be one of the best play callers in all of the league right now. And on top of that, the Vikings were also able to maintain Brian Flores, who I think we can all agree had a really, really good schemed defense last year. So in my opinion, I think the Vikings do have the coaching staff that it takes to get it done, but that doesn't mean they were going to get it done because they still needed a little bit more talent. And uh, you guys, with what they've done so far this offseason, offseason, I think we're seeing them try to get that talent to make it happen. Firstly, man, when it comes to the offense, the biggest thing that you're going to have to talk about is the quarterback position, because right now they're sitting here with Sam Darnold, who is most likely going to be the starter. And while, yes, I think Sam Darnold has some untapped potential inside of him, it would still be good to see the Vikings go out there and try to trade up in the draft to get a guy like Drake May or Jaden Daniels. I myself think that their best option is trying to go after Drake May, which would mean they have to find a way to trade up to that second overall pick, which I don't think is impossible. They're obviously going to have to give up a haul to get up there, but we just saw them trade for another first round pick in the draft, which now gives them the 11th overall pick and the 23rd overall pick, so they have a lot of draft capital to try to go up and get it. Drake May is easily one of the best prospects that we've seen in the last 10 years with what he's able to do on the field, getting out of structure and making crazy plays with his legs and with his crazy strong arm. So if you're able to bring him in an offense that had Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison, and TJ Hawkinson on it, I think you would see success pretty fast. But of course, they're going to have to be able to trade up to make this happen. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw them with a guy like JJ McCarthy, or they just stuck with Sam Darnold for the 2024 season. Either route they go, I'm pretty confident in whatever quarterback they start is going to be able to have some success due to the simple fact that Kevin Connell makes offense easy for the quarterback, and also due to the fact that they just have talent all over the field. Speaking of talent all over the offense, though they had a lot of talent before this offseason even started but now as we all know they added a little bit more talent to it they went out and they signed division rival Aaron Jones and got him from the Packers and I absolutely love this move they signed him to just a one-year deal for just seven million dollars which is an absolute steal considering the type of player that he is I mean Aaron Jones is one of the best running backs and not only running between the tackles but especially when he's able to get out on the edges and he's also one of the best backs in the league at catching the football out of the backfield and I think we're going to see the Vikings use that a lot and when you consider that he's going to be paired with the running back like Ty Chandler who showed himself to be really really talented last year I think the Vikings have a chance to have one of the better run games in the entire NFL which is going to make the quarterback who ends up starting's life even easier than it already was but as we all know the offensive side of the football isn't the only thing that matters when it comes to winning games you also have to worry about the defense and man oh man 
can have the Vikings just done that as well. The Vikings, of course, didn't sign back Daniil Hunter, who is coming off a tremendous season, but the signings they did make made them even better than they were last year, so I'm really not that bothered by it. Firstly, they went out and signed Jonathan Grenard to a four-year deal worth $76 million. Jonathan Grenard, if you didn't know, played his first four seasons on the Houston Texans, and in this past season, he absolutely broke out as one of the best edge rushers in the league. I mean, this guy was able to put up 14 sacks in just 15 games, which really shows you all you need to know about how good of a player he is. He's also currently only 26 years old and he's only going to be going into his fifth season which means he's still in his prime and he's probably starting to hit the best years of his career which is something you probably couldn't say for a guy like Daniil Hunter. And then to pair with Jonathan Grenard they didn't just leave the other edge spot empty they also went out and signed another guy in Andrew Van Ginkle who is also coming off an extremely good season. Ginkle is coming off a season where he put up eight sacks but that really doesn't show in my opinion how good he actually played because if you go take a look at the PFF grades what you'll see is that he graded out as the seventh best edge rusher in football with a 91.1 grade while also grading out as the seventh best edge rusher in pass rush grade and the first best edge rusher in coverage grade at an 87.3 so not only is he a guy that's going to be able to get crazy pressures on the quarterback but he's also a guy that Brian Flores can use in creative ways in coverage and he can still be extremely effective there so but when you put two guys like this together on a defensive line on both edges, you're going to see a lot of success, and I think that's exactly what we're going to see in this upcoming season with this Vikings defense. They should be able to get a decent amount of pressure, and I also think we're going to see their run defense be a lot better than it was previously, and that leads me into what they did at the linebacker position, because you got to have good linebackers to have good run defense. They, of course, still have Ivan Pace Jr., who played extremely, extremely well for where he was drafted last year, but on top of that, they also went out and signed another guy from the Texans and Blake Cashman, who is coming off an extremely good season as well. Blake Cashman's raw box score numbers aren't going to jump off the paper at you, mainly due to the fact that he only played in 13 games due to injury, but what will jump off the paper at you is his PFF grades, because this guy graded out as the 8th best linebacker in football with an 82.1 grade, while also grading out as the 12th best run defender, according to Pro Football Focus, which shows me that he's probably a pretty good player. Now, moving on to the final a part of the defense, the Vikings secondary. They didn't make any moves here in free agency, which is why I expect them to probably try to find something later on in the draft to add here. I mean, they still do have Harrison Smith, who might be getting old, but still can play at a relatively high level. They have Cameron Bynum, who played pretty well with all things considered last year. They still have a young guy in Makai Blackman. They have Byron Murphy Jr. And they also have a guy I like a lot in Josh Metellus. So they do have some talent here, but I would like to see them try to find a steal later on in the draft to add to it. And if they can do that, man, I think this defense really has a chance to be a solid unit, especially with Brian Flores calling the shots. And when you compare that with an offense as talented as the offense that the Minnesota Vikings currently have, they start to get pretty scary. Now, of course, they still have the quarterback question, but we're just going to have to wait to see how all that plays out. So I'm curious to know what you think about that situation in the comments below and what you think about the Vikings' current free agency moves. So let me know your thoughts about that down below. And with that being said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.